If you're looking for some garden inspiration, you might want to get tickets for the Victoria Hospice Teeny Tiny Garden Tour, which is next Sunday. It's an important fundraiser for Victoria Hospice, which provides compassionate end-of-life care. Tess Van Stratton has the details in this week's Vital People. One of my favorites is this lupin, which will soon have uh, gorgeous blue flowers. Deborah Brucer loves to spend time in her Oak Bay Garden Oasis. It's very, very calming. And I love the therapeutic nature of digging in the garden. At first to me, it seemed like housework outside, but it isn't really, it's, it's very different. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm a person who likes to do things quickly, but it's not possible in a garden. So I'm turning it up because I have a few more primuli to transplant. Digging in the dirt and slowing down with Poppy the cat supervising, this small space has truly been transformed since Deborah and her husband moved to Victoria in 2017. Since we've been blessed with a builder's lot, a lawn, front and back, pretty scruffy, we had it dug up, we amended the soil, and added many uh, native plants. Here is the sea thrift, which is at its best right now. They also planted camas and oak trees along with other native plants to create a Gary Oak Meadow ecosystem. It's vanishing nature that it is endangered. And we thought, oh, we can do our part in increasing its longevity and uh, helping to extend it. And we've had so much fun doing so. Bursting with blooms, it's now a hybrid garden with lots of colorful non-native plants as well. And it's one of the stops on the 18th annual Victoria Hospice Teeny Tiny Garden Tour, June 11th. We're thrilled to have uh, 13 gardens this year, and we are so grateful for our garden owners, and they open their gardens for the day, and everybody gets to come through. The event's an important fundraiser for Victoria Hospice, which offers compassionate end-of-life care. Almost 50% of the uh, operating costs of Victoria Hospice are covered by community donations and donors. So it's very important for fundraisers like the Teeny Tiny Garden Tour to happen. Uh, we couldn't do some of the things that we do without the support of our community. These plants here, they're just at the end of their lives, are the shooting stars, peacock flowers, and a native plant. Deborah's volunteered for hospice since moving to Victoria, both on the floor and in other roles. I've seen firsthand the compassionate care they offer at end of life. And as one ages and confronts one's own mortality, um, it's been a growth experience for me. Seeing her garden as a metaphor for life, Deborah can't wait to share this special spot. I just love looking out at all the beauty. I love how peaceful it is. I love that you can take a 5,000 square foot lot and turn it into an oasis. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.